Good day! In this video, we will have a discussion about the purchases journal when a business makes use of the periodic inventory system. When a business buys inventory on credit, then those transactions will be recorded in the purchases journal. Let's look at an example. Africa Traders, a registered VAT vendor, buys and sells hand sanitizers. The VAT rate is 15%. All goods are sold at a constant markup of 25% and the entity uses the periodic inventory system. You are provided with an invoice that was received from the supplier when the inventory was purchased and we are required to record the information from the source document provided in the applicable subsidiary journal of Africa Traders. What does the source document tell us? Firstly, that the invoice was made out to Africa Traders by SA dealers. That means that Africa Traders purchased the hand sanitizers. Under the payment method, it's indicated that the purchase was done on account. That means that the purchase was done on credit. The invoice also indicates the purchase price, the VAT included, and the date of the transaction. So when we look at this transaction, we need to identify the affected accounts. First account is trade payables control since we purchased the inventory on credit. The second account will be the purchases account. The reason for this is because the business is making use of the periodic inventory system. This is different from the perpetual inventory system where the purchase of inventory is recorded in the inventory account. So it's very important to note that with the periodic inventory system, we will make use of the purchases account, which is an expense account. And then we will also have the VAT input account that will be affected because we can claim back VAT from the South African Revenue Services on the inventory that we purchase. In the Trade Payables Control account, we will record the total amount that we owe on this transaction. On the invoice, this amount is indicated as 34,500 Rand. Please take note that this is the amount inclusive of VAT. When we go to our Purchases Journal, we will firstly record the document number in the document number column, which in this case is 042, the date of the transaction in the day column as the third day of February. In the details column, we will write the name of the supplier. For our transaction, that will be SA Dealers. And then in the Trade Payables Control Account column, we will write the amount of 34,500 Rand. In the purchases account, we will record the amount exclusive of VAT. On our invoice, that amount is indicated as 30,000 Rand. The reason for this is that our expense will be the amount after we claim back the portion of value added tax from the South African Revenue Services. So from the 34,500 Rand that we pay, we will be able to claim 4,500 Rand of VAT back from the South African Revenue Services and therefore the cost price of the inventory that we purchased will only be 30,000 Rand for our business. In our subsidiary journal, in the purchases column, we will therefore write an amount of 30,000 Rand. In the column for our VAT input account, we will record an amount of 4,500 Rand as that is the amount indicated for value added tax on our invoice. We will now record an amount of 4,500 Rand on the VAT input account. 
the information as reflected in our purchases journal will now correspond to our invoice. The document number of 042, the day as the third, the details as SA dealers, which is the supplier from who we bought the inventory, that input of 4,500 Rand, purchases of 30,000 Rand, and trade payables control of 34,500 Rand. After watching this short video, you should now be able to record a transaction in the purchases journal for a business using the periodic inventory system where the business purchased inventory on credit. Thank you for watching.